Uh, thank you, Phyllis, and thank you, uh, the w NAACP for having this event. It was nice to meet a good number of you. Can't hear it. Hello? All right. I have to get really close to this thing, I guess. Uh, I'm just meeting a number of you for the first time today, so I'm going to use this opportunity to just briefly introduce myself. I'm attorney Mark Adams. I'm running for counselor at large. Um, I've been in practice. I have a law practice here in Brockton. I've been practicing law in Brockton for going on 30 years. It'll be 30 years this January. Uh, I've been a lifelong resident of Brockton. I have three children. They've all grown up here. Uh, two have already graduated from college, and I have one who's a sophomore at UMass Amherst, which is my alma mater. Um, but enough about me. Um, I don't have an awful lot of time here, so I, rather than getting into specific issues, uh, what I do want to address is just, I want to suggest that there are basic three, basically three main qualities you need in a counselor for the city of Brockton. One is to be able to listen, to listen to your constituents, to listen to others, to listen to your fellow counselors. The other is to be able to work with people, and I think you've heard that quite a bit consistently with the ward counselors, is that you're going to have to work with people. You're going to have to work with the administration. You're going to have to work with the mayor. You're going to have to work with department heads. You're going to have to work with your fellow counselors. And lastly, you, the main job, I think, is to advocate. You have to be a zealous, consistent, and a persistent advocate for the residents and the inhabitants of Brockton. And quite frankly, I've kind of been doing that for the last 30 years as a practicing attorney. And I've been pretty good at it. And I would suggest to you that I would like to do that in the public service as a counselor at large in the city of Brockton. And I ask out of your four votes for counselor at large, you consider casting your vote for Mark Adams. Thank you.